In this video, we are going to formulate a linear programming problem. Uh, so we're not actually going to do any of the graphical side of solving it. We're just going to form the, uh, the objective function and the constraints. So Alan bakes two types of cake for a bakery, lemon drizzle and chocolate. Each lemon drizzle cake requires two eggs, 300 grams of flour and 250 grams of sugar. Each chocolate cake requires one egg, 250 grams of flour, and 250 grams of sugar. Alan has 48 eggs, 8 kilos of flour, and 6 kilos of sugar. The lemon drizzle cakes will be sold for £6 each, and the chocolate cakes will be sold for £8 each. The bakery wishes to maximise the money made from selling these cakes, and you may assume that all the cakes that are made are sold. Formulate this as a linear programming problem, simplifying the inequalities as far as possible. Now, the first thing you need to do with a, a linear programming problem like this is we need to define our variables because at no point in the question does it tell us uh, whether we should use X or Y, but I'm going to use uh, L for lemon drizzle and C for chocolate here. So we need to write down let L be the number of lemon drizzle cakes uh, made. And so that's L, and we're going to let C be the number of chocolate cakes. made. Okay, so that's defined our variables. We now need an objective function. So Alan wants to make as much money as possible, maximize the money made. So we want to maximize, uh, let's say P for profit, and the cakes are going to be sold at £6 each for lemon drizzle. So £6 times by the number of lemon drizzle cakes that are made, which is L, plus uh, £8, because it's £8 each for the chocolate cakes. So £8 times the number of chocolate cakes that I'm going to sell, which is C. So that's my objective function. Now we need our constraints. So subject two. Now we're going to have an inequality for eggs, one for flour and one for sugar. So we know that we need two eggs for every lemon drizzle cake. So two lots of L. Plus we need one egg uh, for every chocolate cake. So one lot of C. And we have 48 eggs available. So we can't go over 48. So that's got to be less than or equal to 48. And we can't simplify that inequality any further. Okay, so that's eggs. Now for flour. So we need 300 grams of flour for each lemon drizzle cake. And 250 grams of flour for each chocolate cake. And we have eight kilos of flour available. Now, notice the um, units here. So that needs to be less than or equal to 8,000 because I've written that in grams. So I'm going to need to divide that through by 50. So we're going to get uh, 6L plus 5C is less than or equal to 160. So that's an inequality for flour. Now, finally, one for sugar. So we need 250 grams of sugar for each lemon drizzle cake and 250 grams of sugar for each chocolate cake. And we have six kilos of sugar available. So that must be less than or equal to 6,000. Now, if I divide that through by 250, I'm going to get L plus C is less than or equal to now 6,000 divided by 250 is 24. Okay, right, so we now have those inequalities, one for eggs, one for flour, and one for sugar. 
Now, the only thing that we're missing here are the non-negativity constraints. What that stops us from happening, or stops from happening, is that uh, we can't have a negative number of lemon drizzle cakes. So L has got to be greater than or equal to zero, and the number of chocolate cakes has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So don't forget your non-negativity at the end. So let's just run this through. We have defined our variables first. We have our objective function. We then have three inequalities, one for eggs, one for flour, and one for sugar. And we have the non-negativity constraints. So that forms the linear programming problem.